dating app. Since my Tinder video got 3 million views, it's been a bit hard for me. The only people I match with are the people that have seen the video. How do you think it's catfish of 2019 supposed to catfish? If everyone knows he's a catfish. But as the biggest catfish of 2019, I need to catfish. I need to retain my title. Now I live in London. London was recently named the number one place where the rich spend their money. Now I've experienced the rich life on Tinder and people just wanting me for my money. So I needed to find a place where I could be with my people. My fellow rich people. Dating apps for millionaires. Yes, it's actually a thing. I've always wondered what these elite platforms are like. And today we're going to find out. We're going to go undercover faking being rich on dating apps for millionaires. So I headed over to the app store. Searched for dating apps for millionaires. And downloaded every single one. I then went on each app and signed up with the same profile that I used in the fake rich on Tinder video. However, it turned out some of the apps didn't exactly work. Literally, look. The app is just a white screen. I uploaded a photo and that's all we get. It. The app doesn't work. So yeah, it turned out literally half of these apps didn't even work. <laughs> which was great. Alright, one down. <laughs> the rest to go. Literally, this one worked, but there was just no one on it. Is there anyone actually on this app? Is there literally no one on it? There's literally... <laughs> There's literally no one on it. Well, that's just great, isn't it? And then there was ones that did work, but they cost money. Oh, this one you've got to pay, um, but we're not going to do that. £350 a year. £350 a year. That's the price of half a pair of Balenciagas. I'll make a deal with you guys. If this video gets 40,000 likes, I'll do a video where I sign up for this £350 a year dating app. <laughs> so like the video if you want to see that. But I carried on signing up for the rest of the dating apps and the rest all had a verification process. Waiting list. To maintain a high quality, we screen everybody. One of them I had to send a video proving that I wasn't a catfish. <laughs> we all know that wasn't true. You've got to send a video saying highly. Highly. <laughs> I'm real. We've received your video and we'll process it soon. And the other one I had to lie that I went to private school. I didn't go to private school. I went to a very public school. So George, where did you go? Okay, this is the one. Abbey College, Chelsea Independent College. That sounds pretty smart. I, George, hereby declare that the information provided is true and correct. I also understand that any willful dishonesty may render for refusal of my application. Submit. Application is under review. So now all there's to do is to wait. All right, so next day, I know I look an absolute mess. I've literally been up like 10 minutes. I've just checked my phone and look at this. Sorry, unfortunately, your toffee profile has been rejected. I've been rejected. I, I don't... <laughs> I don't, I honestly don't believe it. How could they do that? Obviously my Photoshop was enough to trick the average person, but the rich people, they're not falling for my Photoshop. Oh, what am I gonna do? Unfortunately, I haven't met the dating criteria. If you'd like to contact us, please do it via our website. I was mortified, heartbroken, humiliated. I had failed as a catfish, but they don't call me the biggest catfish of 2019 for nothing. We wasn't gonna give up this easy. I went online and did some research. Research into what rich people look like, into what they eat, into what they wear, into where they live. I had to know everything. I found out everything I needed to know and I made three notes. The first, rich people don't flex. When you're really rich, you don't need to flex because you don't need to impress anyone. So if you're gonna flex, you do it subtly. Number two, play golf. Rich people love golf. I personally find it a bit boring, but rich people love it. And finally, have nice houses. Rich people live in mansions. They don't live in average size houses. So I looked at my notes and I realized what I had to do. I had to play golf. So my friends and I got in my car and we went to Top Golf. It it was a beautiful occasion. And as you can see, I was an absolute natural. At least put on the blue one. <laughs> we hit ball after ball after ball. He can't even put it on we finished our first game and uh, I lost. But the second game, I was back and ready for revenge. Richard, 55. Andrea, 55. Daniel, 55. George, 15. Yeah, I somehow got a worse score in the second game than I did in the first game. I then got proof of me playing golf to prove I was rich. However, we chose the worst day to do this. The UK got hit by a storm called Storm Freya and uh, as you can see it wasn't a good look So I got home and the next day I checked the photos and, and I realized how bad they were I'm a bit worried Photoshop might not even be able to fix this one I couldn't submit these photos. I would definitely get rejected again So I came up with a plan B. My friend Richard who came top golf with us works in the Shard Which is the tallest building in London. I remembered my notes rich people have nice houses So I was gonna pretend the Shard was my house So I got dressed up in my richest looking outfit so I would fit in the Shard 
I then left my house and looked for the tallest building in London. I saw it and I followed it and I followed it and I followed it all the way to I was so close until we hit a barrier. The River 10. But we had come too far and got too close to quit now. No river could stop us. I had no choice but to go for a swim. Obviously I didn't actually go for a swim. I, I just found a bridge. But I crossed the bridge keeping my eye on the prize. I followed it and followed it until we made it. It was beautiful. Never had I seen something this amazing. I was ready to go in. But there was one thing missing. I had to look rich. So I got my dad's AirPods and put them in. They saw my AirPods and let me straight in. I got in the lift and went straight to the top. I met Richard. I sat down. He took some photos of me in my new house. I couldn't look out of place. So I acted natural. Had a look at the menu. Ordered a cup of tea. Very classy. I know. But I had to go. I couldn't overstay my welcome. I couldn't risk being caught. And whilst I was outside, I saw a Tesla dealership. So I went in there and got my photo taken in the car. And we were ready. So I went home and went straight onto Photoshop. Added in a few little subtle flexes. I then went into my car and got my sister to take some photos of me in there. So I could then Photoshop the Tesla to look like it's in the road instead of in a showroom. Here are the two before and after. I chose to use the Chardon as the main one just because it was a lot more realistic. Because the Photoshop was a lot more subtle. However, I was still a bit scared that I might get rejected again. So I had an idea. So I'm going to post on my Instagram to try and see if my followers pick up on it. Because my followers don't believe anything I do. So they're going to say it's fake anyway. But we just want to see how fake it is. And if it's not too bad, then we're going to apply for the dating app again. All right, it's 6 p.m. I'm going to post the photo. So here it is. Here's a photo. We've got the Gucci shoes. We've got the Gucci belt. We've got the Gucci necklace. But most importantly, we've got the AirPods. So I put the caption of, love the view from my new penthouse. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. So I'm not expecting much, but it's a bit of a test. All right, here we go. Sure. All right, there's no, no one said it's fake yet, but it's only been about 10 seconds. So there were two types of people that commented on my Instagram post. The people that were telling me I've given them trust issues and the people that were assuming it was fake. The actual stuff that was fake was so subtle, no one really noticed. They were more looking at the background, thinking that I'd photoshopped the view. Oh, and then there was Maddie who decided to roast me. Not sure, but this seems fake because you have Gucci and other designer brands that you simply can't afford at the moment. I mean, she's not wrong, but Toffee didn't know that. So I went straight onto the app, signed up once again with a new photo. I submit my application and now all I have to do was wait. Guys, it's been about an hour. I just went and had dinner. My phone was charging. I've just come back. We've got a notification. Congratulations, your Toffee profile has been approved. We've made it. We're in. So I went onto the app and set up my full profile. And after I did, this happened. Whoa, 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 wait. Hold on a second. So I added all my photos, pressed done. And then I've got this notification that says, hi, we hope you like the app. Toffee is a monthly subscription app that costs less than the price of a decent gin and tonic. So it basically asked you to buy it. So I said, no thanks. And then it says, ah, blah, blah, blah. We're dedicated all this and that. So what do you say? Do you want to give us another shot? There's, okay, let's do this. Take me to the subscription page or no thanks. Please delete my profile. So you have to pay for this app. But we were in too deep now. I didn't go to golf for nothing. I didn't go to the shard for nothing. We were getting in, so I paid. I've literally just paid $4.99 for a private school dating app. We're in. We're officially in Toffee, guys. So here's my profile. I've got me and my crib. We've got me playing golf. Me and my Tesla. Me and my Balenciagas, because I'm rich. <laughs> me next to the Eiffel Tower, because once again, I don't know if I told you, but I'm rich. And me at the Gucci store, because <coughs> I'm rich. Over the course of the week, I swiped right to every single person I saw. Male or female. We needed as many matches as we could get. And before I knew it, the week was over. And I was getting used to this rich lifestyle. Oh, sorry, what was that? I don't speak, bro. These aren't even my AirPods, they're my sisters. Sorry, Lizzie, that I put your AirPods in my nose. But I'm on Tinder for Millionaires. I had to flex somehow. But our week on Tinder for Millionaires is now over. And it was a weird week, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, most of the apps didn't work at all, so that was great. I had to apply for three of them. One of them accepted me. The other two still haven't reviewed me. It's been over a week. So without further ado, let's get straight into the conversations we had on Toffee. So the first match we got was called Isabella. Now, obviously, I'm in new territory. I don't know how Toffee works. I don't know how private educated people talk to each other. So I went in simple, just gave her a hey. And she replied, hey, how are you? I'm great, thank you. Now I'm talking to you. <laughs> That's a bit forward. Uh -huh. That's just me. <laughs> so what brings you to Toffee? I had to get away from them Tinder peasants. <laughs> Tinder is awful, but Toffee isn't much better. It better be. I paid $4.99 for this. Jeez, steady with a cap. Sorry, my finger slipped. I just get riled up sometimes, you know. $4.99, I better have a girlfriend by next week for that. <laughs> $4.99 is a bit cheap for a girlfriend, don't you think? What are you saying, Isabella? I'm joking, calm down. <laughs> Steady with the jokes. I'm serious. Do I look like a jock me to you? Joke? <laughs> Can't spell. Clearly didn't go to private school. No, but that Eiffel Tower does. Great photoshopping, I must say. Photoshop? Ha <laughs> I've been to Paris more times than I can count. And then she sent a screenshot of my video. Yeah, we got caught. But this wasn't a bad thing. We now had an insider. Isabella was clearly in the George Mason nation. Even though she hadn't subscribed or all 
like the video. She was clearly part of the George Mason Nation. She's our insider. She's going to give us the tips, the tricks, everything we need to know to succeed on Toffee. So I asked her, have you got any tips for Toffee? And her response was, spend the $4.99 somewhere else. Great, thanks Isabella. That's just what I wanted to hear. Too late for that. I'm never getting this $4.99 back. Okay, next time match with Sarah. And basically on this app, you can put what your interests are. So mine, for example, were arts and culture very high, the city quite high, sport quite high, and adventure quite high. Now I matched with Sarah and all hers were high apart from arts and culture. So I said, I see you like everything apart from arts and culture. You uncultured swine. <laughs> what do your arts include? Photoshop? Really? Again? Photoshop? I'm a cryptocurrency investor. I'm not an artist, but I still like art. Unlike you, you can fake being rich, but you can't fake class. <laughs> Sarah, why? But why did you have to do me like that? Oh, that one hurt. I, I honestly didn't know what to reply to that. That was so savage, Sarah. And she never replied. Thanks for that, Sarah. Really boosted my confidence. But I wasn't gonna let what Sarah said get to me. Does she know who I am? I'm the biggest catfish of 2019. I can fake anything. So I had to prove Sarah wrong. So we moved on to the next map, Holly. So I said, I noticed you have a driving license. What do you transport it? I meant to say in, but I spelled it wrong. She replied with a question mark. Oh, sorry, I meant in. What do you drive? Car question mark? Yes, a car. No, Holly, I mean what car? Do you, Holly? Drive. Got a bit heated there. I couldn't really get my sentences out. It's not that difficult. This next message is a bit embarrassing. So, uh, so I want to end this whole rant by replying capiche but I didn't know how to spell capiche once again didn't go to private school so I googled how to spell capiche so I copy and pasted it not realizing that I also copy and pasted dictionary so I then said Capiche Dictionary. It was an accident, okay? She replied, Toyota Igo. Flipping hell. Why? I wouldn't want to talk to an Igo driver anyway. Rather watch paint dry. <laughs> we then matched with Rona and her profile said she liked family history. So I thought I'd try and impress her by making up some family history. So I messaged Rona saying, my family history is strong. I'm actually related to Henry the, Henry the seventh. I meant to write eight, but I missed the I. Match that, Rona. That's what I love to hear. I can't match it with royalty. The closest I get is Edward the first. No idea who that is. I do love hearing family stories. And then at this point, I realized I wrote Henry the seventh. So I thought, you know what? We've already got it wrong once. We might as well get it wrong again. Yeah. Not bad, but not quite Henry the sixth. I have to stop talking to you because you're not really my class. Let me guess, you drive a petrol car. Just grab a Tesla. They're great. I say grab a Tesla like it's a chocolate bar. Yeah, just go down the shop and get a Tesla. So I then went on to try and convince her to buy a Tesla. And then we got talking about the luxury life. And she said she liked the luxury life. That's good to hear. I tried to and it was just full of losers. I didn't even try that. What kind of person do you consider a loser? You know, the classic working class peasants. <laughs> but the next message you're not ready for. You're actually not ready. I actually stopped seeing the last guy I met because it turned out he was working class. <laughs> and then she put like the emoji that's like, like the cringe emoji. She's actually serious about this too. I'm not usually judgmental, but it just made me super uncomfortable. Wow. Yeah, I know what you mean. I just feel like I'm better than them the whole time. Well, I don't just feel it. I know I am. Personally, my issue is feeling financially secure. As I said, how do I know a working class guy can provide properly? I mean, maybe you could get a job as well, Rona. Provide for yourself. Be an independent woman. Yeah, they're like a cheap petrol car. Unreliable. Ha 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 You do like ripping into petrol cars, don't you? You. It's one of my hobbies. The other one is ripping. <laughs> The other one is ripping into poor people. Two great hobbies. I can't believe people actually like this. So she then asked me for a no can do list. I basically just tried to make this list the most hypocritical thing ever. Mine is basically just working class, no prospects. No prospects. I'm working class. According to her, I've got no prospects. I mean, I mean, she's not wrong. So we then matched with Liam and I messaged him saying, net worth question mark. Tell me you're joking. Money talks, wealth whispers. What are you saying, Liam? I cannot tell if you're joking by asking asking me that question. Do I look like a joke? Balenciaga's on my feet. Views from the 45th floor. Electricity at my steering wheel. My Uber drivers have that. Insult me again, Liam, and I'll grab your bar. <laughs> oh, I forgot to say, on this app, basically you can select your favorite meal, but his favorite starter was something called Baba Ganoush. Insult me again, Liam, and I'll grab your Baba Ganoush and throw it in your face. Broke boy, <laughs> you're vile. I've literally got more class in my little toe. Why does no one think I've got class? Is it that obvious? Sorry, just joking. I am really classy. I would never throw Baba <laughs> I would never throw Baba Ganoush at you. X, 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 X. Baba Ganoush. What a word. If you're 
you're not joking, please don't talk to me again. I was, trust me. Wouldn't waste a good baba ganoush like that. You should try mine. It's award winning. And I just sent this photo of Shrek <laughs> and he never replied. Next we match with Lily and as you saw, I've been showing my class. People have been seeing through my act. I'm not upper class. So I had to try and relate to people a bit more. So I messaged Lily saying, hello my fellow private education peer. Yes, isn't it fun to be leagues above others in education? We are superior. S superior. I tried Tinder but was just disgusted by the lower class scum thinking they had the right to talk to me. I just find that they're all so unattractive and they smell. <laughs> I don't think they can afford soap, the poor souls. <laughs> Diabolical. Oh well, let's not talk about them. We are better than them. It then turned out she'd seen my videos and was just trolling me. I mean, it's honestly hard to tell. There are literally some people like this on the app. And finally, we match with Kane. Now, I'm not going to put his full name because he literally has six names. You know you're rich when you've got six names. So I messaged him saying, well, that's a name and a half. It's even longer than that. How are you? Pretty good. Just thinking about all the great memories from my private education. Marvellous. Where did you go? What university do you go to now? What do you read? Jesus came one at a time. What is this? Who wants to be a millionaire? Oh wait, I already am one. Ha 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 Last book I read was Of Mice and Men. Classic. I am not really patient, but you have not answered. Those nouveau riches and par parvenu? Parvenu? Despicable. I have not watched telly in a decade. I mean, I didn't ask, but thanks for telling me that. Do you want a medal? I haven't watched TV since this morning. I would leave it to those underlings who need a piece of steel to feel valuable. Thanks. Wow, you're so wise, Kane. There's a show on tonight about being a genius in this generation. Oh, wait, you haven't watched TV in a year, right? A decade is 10 years, sweeting. Oh, yeah, geography was never my strongest subject. <laughs> Didn't stop me from securing the bag, though. <laughs> Have you secured the bag? And he never replied, so 24 hours later, I messaged him again saying, Clearly not. Get on my level. And this obviously offended Kane because he replied, I have seven centuries of aristocracy running in the blood. I need not brag more than is becoming, nor behave like an egotistical oaf whose actions is in existence. A word to the wise. Stout you have, you phony. I could not care less, ignoble dolt. A fact is a fact. Know your place. Now out. Thanks. Ignoble dolt. That was brutal. So Kane was flexing on me with his family history. So I had to flex on him with mine. So I googled the most powerful leaders in history and towards the top with Elizabeth I. So I said, I'm the first line descendant of Queen Elizabeth I. So put some respect on my name. Elizabeth Regina was sadly never blessed with a child. You cannot be a first descendant. At best, you're a mere collateral from the Boleyn or Stuart family with, but likely without, any nobility. I will now cease responding to you since this is not going anywhere. And you are a pathetic, low-born swine. Wow. Your lack of manners is en en what is that? Your lack of manners is egregious and appalling. Your nouveau rich and parvenu attitude are insufferable. Bear in mind that simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. William and Henry Windsor would not dare behaving in such a way. Neither should you, oh pretentious alleged descendant of Elizabeth I. Good riddance. K dot. I think that's enough of this app. I'm clearly not worthy. All that's happened to me since I went on this app is I've been roasted. I've been trolled. And now I've been called an ignoble doll. Whatever that is. I couldn't leave it like this. I had to get the last word. I had to say something that Kane could never reply to. No matter how much wisdom he has. No matter how long he hasn't watched TV for. I had to pull out the big guns. I know you are, but what am I? And he never replied, so I'll take that as a win. Take that, Kane. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. But yeah, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you did enjoy. I just want to say I'm not coming for all private school people. I know a lot of private school people that are actually very nice people. Obviously, this is just a small majority of private school people that genuinely think they're better than everyone else. Some of the matches we got, I genuinely can't believe people actually think like that. It's absolutely crazy. Let me know what you guys thought and if you've had any weird experiences on this app too. Let me know if you'd like to see a part two. Honestly, from the conversations I had on here, I would love to see if there's more people like this on here. Also, as the biggest catfish of 2019, let me know what else you want to see me do. Where else you want to see me catfish. It's getting hard now. People are starting to recognize me more. So let me know your ideas down in the comments. And if you are new, guys, make sure you subscribe to join the George Mason Nation. But yeah, guys, it's been George Mason TV. If you haven't joined, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It's been George Mason over and out. Boom.